ever had me in a place as to where I could put you in a position of doing something wrong. You shouldn't have ever even given me that type of authority to put you in a position. You know for a fact God said don't eat that fruit. But you going to take what I say and eat it? Well, then no, it's something wrong with you. Watch it, y'all. Watch it. People are what I call casters. Casters love to cast it on somebody else instead of accepting the responsibility for themselves. I tell you something else that people do. We are the type of people that is the Eve nature because Eve was the first woman of reproduction. What is Eve nature? We see Adam's, his is blame. His is chomp, cop out. Her nature was to be naive. To be naive. To really think that something was not going to happen that had been told that was going to happen. I watched that with myself. I live by this book to the best of my ability. I don't care what nobody think about me. I know what I do. I take this book because I believe it. Naive. She was naive in the context of thinking that what had been told was going to happen wasn't going to happen. He said that in the day that you eat of the fruit thereof, thou shalt surely what? Hmm? That's what he said, ain't it? But for some reason, she was of the thought that that was not true. That that was not going to happen. That's why the Bible says that you have to be careful because before you know it, you will be done called a lie the truth. And called the truth a lie. So she was under, uh, no, that ain't going to happen like that. That's the reason why people think that they can do stuff that violate these laws and principles in this book and think that ain't nothing going to happen to them. They are of the persuasion of thinking that because God is merciful, that he is going to forgive that stuff and it's going to be okay. That they can live any type of way and God love, he just love me and it's going to be fine. Uh Uh-uh, baby. He told them that when y'all do this, you got to get out the garden and then he put them out. Did, I said, did he put them out? Did they die? They did, didn't they? See, that's why I say you got to be careful. You got to watch the spirit of being naive. Listen to what it said. Nah. Ooh. Ooh. Listen to the word. Nah. That not nah means nah, that ain't going to happen. Nah, that ain't going to go like that. Nah, God ain't going to do nothing to you. Satan hit us straight with the flesh. Did God say you would surely die? Nah, Eve. He didn't say you were going to die. Nah, Eve. He didn't say that was going to happen to you. Nah, Eve. You have to watch that. There's a spirit of being naive. Oh, God, help me. I watch this stuff, y'all. I watch this stuff with me. I work on me. You got to work on you. I'm just giving you wisdom. I work on me. I pay attention to stuff. I watch myself. You can literally deceive yourself. Yes. By being naive. Yes. Literally. People are literally naive. Let me show you another way I watch people. And they and I see them. I see them get tri- tripped up. I see it. I see it. People think that you can just nonchalantly or vicariously play with your Christian walk. I feel a chill in here. They feel like you can vicariously or just nonchalantly play with the Christian walk. And what I mean by that is, oh, I can just do it any kind of way I want to do it. 
I can just, you know, I, if I want to read the word, I read the word. If I want to pray, I pray. If I want to be a service, I'll be a service. I just do what I want to do. You know, but just, but still, think I can maintain a life for God. Nah, Eve. It don't work like that. Nah, Eve. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. The nature, the human nature, which was the part that they were released into when they fell, okay. will begin to dominate so much over the spirit till before you know it, you are out. You pretty much the backslid and you naive. You naive. I'm talking about the backslid. Literally the backslid. And y'all got to understand the thing that the enemy was after the most with them was their fellowship and their obedience to God. I don't think y'all get that. I, I, I told y'all I don't play with this book, man. I can't halfway read it because it'll kill me. I mess with it in increments because I feel like it'll kill me. I just do. It talked to me too much. I can't deal with it. It talked to me too much. It speaks to me. It roars off the page. It scares me. I'm scared of that book. It's a book of principles. I have to take it a little bit by a little bit and get it. But I understand what it says. See, I see what the enemy is after. You got to understand in your life what the devil is after. I think y'all play with this too much. That's just me. You play with it too much. You don't understand what he's really after. You take it nonchalantly. Some, some, some people think that life is just life, man. Life is not just life. You were put here for a purpose and designed by God. You wasn't put here to just be working and all that. God, that's not what it's all about. It is not. That's a part of what you do in life because laboring is a part. But it's more to that. There is a purpose and a divine destiny that is put on your life. There is an impact. There is a life of a servant, first of all, that you were put here on this earth to do. And the enemy was after that. He was after the fact that they were able to live in this place, in this beautiful secluded place that the Lord has set for them. This purpose place that was nothing missing, nothing broken. There was nothing lacking in this place. This is where the Lord puts them and all he says to them is just tend to that, which means that, listen, if you trim the rose bush, the rose bush will return. Y'all don't get that. You hear that? All you got to do is trim it, baby, and it'll keep on producing. So he put them in a place where there was always going to be some reproduction that was going on. Not only that, but he put them in a place where there was fellowship with him. I don't think y'all understand what the devil is really after what he's trying to do he wants to take you out of that place he don't want you to live in that place where nothing is missing nothing is broken nothing is denied from you he don't want you to be in that place of fellowship that's what he is after and when you just naive naive deal with stuff it gets you put out of the place. Let me show y'all the steps of how that thing was set up. I see it. God help me, please. Holy Ghost is on me. Very, very heavy right now. This is the thing about it. Let me show y'all the setup of how it happened. If you'll notice, naive came before blame. Mm -hmm. Being naive came before blame. Mm-hmm. Mm. The serpent deceived who first? Naive came before blame. So when we're naive in a situation and then get checked about the situation, you're going to cast blame? Instead of just saying, listen, man, I'm sorry. I see what you said. We messed up. We did. We messed up. 
But what happened was, Blaine came. Naive, thinking that something cannot happen. Oh God, I talked to y'all about possibility yesterday. I told y'all this house gonna know what's up. You fool with me, you gonna know what's up. You be dumb fooling with me, it's cause you wanna be. Naive will cause you to miss the realm of a possibility. Yes, God. When you are naive in something, you will miss the possibility. See, she was naive. The possibility was this right here. That tree that's sitting in the midst of that garden, don't you touch it. Because if you touch it, thou shalt surely die. That was the possibility. Everything in life has a possibility, y'all. Everything in life has a possibility. If it's up, there is a possibility it can what? If it's hot, there is a possibility it can go what? If they're rich, it's a possibility they can go If they say, it's a possibility they can backslide. Everything has a possibility. If they married, it's a possibility they can get. Everything has a possibility. And how you mess around and get caught up and get messed up in the possibility is when you are nigh. I told y'all I was going to work the text. I don't play with this book, man. I live this because I love it. I use it for wisdom. I use it for wisdom. That's why I like private time by myself, I think. I let it talk to me. This is stuff that God says to me. This is not stuff I get from preachers. This is not stuff I get from listening to other folk. This is stuff that God says to me because this is stuff that I have to let get inside of me because it has to become my portion in order to help me make it in life. Help me win. When you become naive and start thinking that things cannot happen to you, it'll get you. It'll get you. Yes, it can happen. It sure can. It sure can. It happened with Peter. Peter walking with the Lord, done swarming down. He wasn't going to ever leave him. Swarming down, Lord, I love you. Jesus said, Peter, you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. Ask him again, Peter, you love me? Lord, I told you I love you. He said, I'll even go unto death for you. That's what he told him. She said, you love me? Ask me a third time. Yes, Lord, I love you. Why you keep asking me that? Because, boy, you're missing possibility. That's why I'm asking you. You're missing possibility. You're naive. You're naive, boy. You're missing possibility. That's what Jesus was trying to tell him. You're missing possibility. You're missing it. Because you're so caught up in what you think ain't going to ever be. You so caught up in the emotion of things that you are missing the reality of things. And I'm just trying to get you to see the reality of things, boy. There is a possibility that you gonna mess up. What you mean gonna mess up before the rooster could cut three times you gonna show your face? Cause of possibility. So if you ever live in a realm of being naive and don't see the possibility of a thing, that's when that thing will show up. And guess what? When it show up, it will show up and catch you unaware. Huh? It'll catch you at an unaware time. How can it catch me unaware, Pastor Lee? Because I didn't think it was coming. That's how it caught me unaware. That's how it caught me. See, let's go back to the garden when he had the conversation with them and told them exactly what that tree represented. They should have let it locked in their head that this is a possibility of happening. So what do we need to do? Make sure it don't happen. But when you live without possibility, you got it, don't you? 
When you live without knowing the realm of possibility, you set yourself up for it to happen. 